Good day, comrades and friends. This is Dr. Gabe Roberts, the quantum chiropractor, the subconscious healer, new thought minister, and your expert in energy medicine. How many people do you know who suffer with pain? Many people. There are many people in pain today throughout our society. And our society is not equipped with understanding how to resolve it effectively, mainly because they're not looking at the root cause. You see, all the fabrics of abuse today, from opiates to cocaine, to alcohol, smoking marijuana, even other substances that may not be so obvious, such as gambling, excessive internet use, excessive exercising, work addiction, sugary foods, shopping, or pornography are all in themselves a painkiller. And all of these are used as endeavors to get away from anguish. Although it's not obvious to the untrained eye, these are all painkillers because emotional pain and physical pain actually light up the same area under the, of the brain under electroencephalography. So when we scan people's brain, People that suffer emotional trauma, such as feeling unworthy, rejection, or shame, these areas actually light up in the same region in the brain as if they had just stepped on a nail or got burned by a hot coal. When these are left unresolved, this underlying pain will show itself in ways that are typically overlooked by even those who deal with pain, like specialists uh, such as chiropractors and orthopedic surgeon. There's almost always two components to any kind of pain. And most of the work I do today focuses on addressing all root causes, similar to what Dr. John Sarno did. He was a back surgeon for over 30 years and was a typical surgeon who would do surgery install hardware, install rods, and that, that sort of thing. And after 30 years of doing this continuously, he did something that most doctors, especially orthopedic surgeons, never do. He began to review files from all his past patients and began contacting them by phone. You see, surgeons do not typically follow up with you consistently. Uh, besides one in the recovery room and maybe a follow-up short visit a few months afterwards. Then you're assigned typically back to your general practitioner. But Dr. Sarno called patients from years and years previously and typically asked them, hey, this is Dr. John Sarno. I, I did uh, your back surgery years ago and I just wanted to call and check on you and see how your back is doing. Then he began to document the feedback he received from the people that he had operated on. And to his surprise, every single one without exception had told him the back pain actually has not improved at all. Maybe it went away for a little while and then it returned. And in most cases, the pain is now much worse. Now, there's a lesson to this. If your unconscious mind is trying to tell you something, the question is, are you listening? Because most people are not listening. That's like your check engine light in your car just lit up and you put a piece of tape over it so you don't see it anymore. This is how our society operates when it comes to handling and dealing with pain. Now this rattled Dr. Sarno so much that he completely stopped doing surgeries. He completely quit doing what he had been trained to do. That's somewhere around 12 years of training and doing a career that paid him really well. And he just quit. He listened to his unconscious mind because he knew something wasn't right. It just didn't add up. He did something that most medical field practitioners never do. Instead of studying people who have illness or disease or chronic pain, he began to study people who have never had pain. 
He interviewed people over and over who had no complaints of any illness or any pain anywhere. And this is entirely different than the approach that medical sciences do. If a person goes to a doctor with back pain, they immediately put them on an x-ray or some kind of imaging device. Then they review the results of the scan and quickly determine, oh, you have this pain. Here's the problem, this minor disc problem, or there's a little bone spur or anything else out of the ordinary. They say, this is it. And the only way to fix it is surgery. I know of a patient who came to me with a concern of heart challenges. His chest began to tighten up, getting worse and worse over a period of months. And he went to his primary care doctor first, and then he met with the cardiologist. And they said that basically they needed to do a stent. Then this man came to me terrified about a surgery and basically was told this was the only option that would help. Then we ran some of our own unique blood tests. We looked at his clotting factors on his blood panel. We looked at numbers of what the true silent killers were, homocysteine, lipoprotein A, a few others. And they were all within good ranges. Then I went through and muscle tested his reflexes on his body, artery, artery, heart, valve, valve. They all tested strong. Then when I went to test his gallbladder, it shot, his arm shot down very weak. I went to poke his gallbladder gently and he yelled, ah, that's it. That's exactly what I've been feeling. So I gave him some simple instructions, some nutritional modifications to thin down his bile. And within hours, his chest completely loosened up to how it had felt previously months ago. His chest tightening had nothing to do with his heart. And yet they would have performed a high risk operation anyways. So look, I, I'm not here to say that there aren't real medical emergencies when people need medical help. But Dr. Sarno pointed out that your body is so amazing and all it wants to do is heal. And that any trauma in muscle, bone, or nerve will heal within six to eight weeks at tops. As long as that area is not re-injured or re-traumatized in this time. His theories, which are completely validated in modern day research today, that any pain in the neck, low or upper back, shoulders, which is present longer than six to eight weeks, is due to incompatible emotions at the unconscious level, which have not been resolved. Now, this is the same scenario with all types of illnesses today, autoimmune, diabetes, fibromyalgia, chronic pain, chronic fatigue, and much, much more, not just limited to physical pain. Dr. Reich Hammer, a German oncologist, actually proved this by working on thousands and thousands of people with unresolved conflict within their subconscious mind and has a court-documented, verifiable, 92.3% success rate in curing cancer. Go to my page, Dr. Gabe Roberts, and like it or tag a friend as I continue to go into the depths on the greater part of you and show you the, the, the unlimited potential that's just waiting for you to use it.